Good morning, ladies and gents. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Glenn Farmer. I'm a detective inspector in charge of the City and Valley Crime Group. Um, here today to do a, a media release. Um, police investigations continue in relation to a stabbing and a robbery uh, of a man in Milton earlier this month. As a result of our investigation, we're now able to release an image of a male person who we believe will be able to assist us in our investigation. Just by way of background, at about 10.30pm uh, on Friday the 5th of July, a uh, 36-year-old man was stabbed and had items stolen from him near Park Road, Milton, after chasing the man um, into a, a laneway. The, uh, the offender had previously been seen uh, stealing or attempting to steal a lady's purse. Uh, the victim, Mr Cameron, followed the offender, as I said, into a laneway. Uh, whilst in the laneway, <coughs> the, um, the offender had a male associate. Both these male persons then proceeded to attack Mr Cameron, uh, and as a result of those, that attack, Mr Cameron received stab wound to the neck, the back, and also his hand. <coughs> um, after the incident, Mr Cameron was later transported to the Royal Brisbane Women's Hospital where he received treatment for the injuries sustained. Uh, we're here today to seek uh, assistance from the public just to uh, try and identify these two male persons that were involved in this incident. I have a uh, short description of both males person. Uh, the first male is described of uh, Middle Eastern appearance, around 180 centimetres tall, of slim build, with dark hair. On the evening, he was wearing a black jacket with black jeans. The second male is of similar descent. He's approximately 175 centimetres tall. He was wearing a white baggy t-shirt with a dark coloured logo on the front with knee length shorts and sand shoes. Whilst we're here, I'm also renewing an appeal for a woman to come forward. Uh, this woman delivered Mr Cameron's driver's licence to the Goodner Police Station on Sunday morning at about 9.45am. Uh, we do not believe that woman is a, a suspect in this investigation. We believe that she may be able to assist us in our inquiries. Um, yep, you're on. Uh, just wondering if you can, uh, during the attack, can you describe what actually happened? Was Mr Cameron sort of, uh, you know, held down or anything like that? Yeah, at this particular point, Mr Cameron's provided us with a detailed uh, version of, of the events that occurred. Um, I don't propose to go into each and every uh, item of the attack, needless to say, uh, he was, the attack was brutal and it was savage. Um, and as a result of that, he received the stabbing injuries to his neck and his back and his hands. What have doctors said about Mr Cameron's injury? How, how lucky is it? Um, if it hadn't have been for first aid and medical treatment, the outcome certainly could have been more severe. Was he stabbed by both men, or just the one? No, just one, which is the image of the male person. And is that the same person who stole the hand? Correct. Stole the hand earlier? That's correct. Um, does Mr Cameron know the woman whose handbag is almost stolen? Or? Do, you, do you think this... Uh, this pair ha has done this sort of thing before, tried to steal bags and that sort of thing? At this, at this stage of the investigation, we have no information uh, in regards to that, other than it's an isolated incident. Um, but it certainly raises concerns for us to have these two out there in the general public. As far as brutal attacks go, Mr Cameron was doing the right thing. Um, is it something that you know, staff is used to, to see this sort of thing happen? Yeah, it's, um, look, th there's no doubt the actions of Mr Cameron were certainly heroic. Um, and I can assure you, Mr Cameron didn't perceive the outcome that would have occurred. Uh, as I said, if it hadn't have been for the first aid and medical treatment that had been received, certainly the outcome would have been uh, a lot more severe. But it's probably just a reminder to, to the general public just to, if they do see uh, crimes being committed, to call police in the first instance. Do you know yet uh, what, what weapon was used? Yeah. Was? Yes, we do. Okay. At this stage, I'm not prepared to say. How did Mr Cameron seek help? people hear what happened or did he walk out? At the time of the incident there were a number of members of public around Park Road area at that particular time so immediate first aid was supplied by members of the public and eventually uh, Queensland and service arrived and provided treatment along with the Royal Brisbane Hospital later on. Have you had many calls from Crime Stoppers or anyone up until this point? 
Yes, we've, we've had a number of calls, but obviously I just want to take this opportunity to, to appeal to anyone who has information regarding particularly these two particular people or any, um, if they were present in Park Road, Milton, on the evening of Friday the 5th, who have, uh, that who witnessed something or has in contact with police. The victims who were originally targeted, as in um, there was the attempt made to steal their bag, was that a couple or someone sitting by themselves at a table? Can you describe that? Uh, it was a female person. She was in with a group of people at uh, a local restaurant on Park Road at a place called the Scratch Bar. And he's attempted to take the bag off the table? That's correct. He didn't actually steal it. He, he attempted to steal it, got possession of it, and then it was dropped. And was Mr Cameron at that restaurant or just walking by? Or? Uh, Mr Cameron was in the near vicinity, saw it occur, and followed the offender. Firstly, how, how are you feeling? Good. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm fine. Like, um, I guess I'd really like anyone who, who saw it to come forward. That's really important to me. Like, I'm, I really am fine. Um, but anybody that saw anything that night, anybody that might know these guys, um, yeah, please come forward. What um, made you do it? Um, just giving assistance, um, really. Um, <laughs> just wanting to, to give assistance, but um, yeah, like, a, um, you know, no one expects what happened to have happened. Um, and I do, I do recommend, like, getting the police involved. Um, but yeah, no, it was just helping out. Can you tell us about your recovery? Um, pretty fast, actually. Um, it, it was fine. Um, I'm, pretty fast here. <laughs> um, yeah. How long were you in the hospital? I mean, um, getting stabbed in the neck? Um, about four days. Did you have to undergo any surgery or anything like that? Um, yes. Yes, I, I did. How frightening was the whole experience? Um, frightening, yeah. Mm. But, um, you know, it, it um, yeah, it, it was frightening, but, I mean, you, yeah. <laughs> you say it was over pretty quickly? Was it you know, a bit of a blur to you? No, not a blur. <laughs> Definitely not a blur. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it all happened. You know, very. I mean, it was a, a quick turn of events. Yes. Did they say anything to you, or were you yelling after them as you like how um, from where the table was where you saw it to where the incident happened? How much distance was there? About two hundred meters, all up. Um, and yes, they did. The police know that, but obviously can't. As I said before, he's given a detailed statement of the account and uh, and the conversations that were had. Um, so at this stage, we won't comment on those. Can you just describe what was going through your head at the time? As in, you know, you saw someone in need. Sort of just what was going through your head? Just help get the bag back. That was that was it. <laughs> it was just get the bag back, <laughs> really. <laughs> Did they drop the bag once you confronted them? Um, I actually didn't realise they'd dropped the bag, yeah. so I well, was just... <laughs> I would have I would have stopped. <laughs> what went through your head when you saw the knife? Or did you um, see the knife? At this stage we won't be talking about what uh, weapon was used. Okay, the V weapon. When you saw the V weapon you realised you were being attacked, what went through your head then? Um, think? Defend yourself. That's you know, that's all you can do, really, you know, um, but, yeah, that's... Yeah. Is there any training in self-defence, martial arts? Um, uh, do you mind? No. No, look, we prefer not to comment yeah, in regards to that. Sorry. As we said before, like, the, the attack was, you know, it was brutal and callous. Um, Mr Cameron never predicted, obviously, the outcome that would happen with this. And if it wasn't for his um, uh, determination on the night in, in defending himself and also the immediate first aid, as I said before, the outcome would have been more severe. So it would be safe to say you, you did um, put up some resistance as best you could, I suppose? Yes. Yeah. Would you do it again if you had your time over? Um, probably use a camera phone and take a good snapshot. Um, I'd always give assistance to someone. Um, but like I said, the police are a lot better equipped to deal with that. So, Have yeah. you spoken with the people who helped you afterwards? Um, have I? Yeah, have you spoken with them after uh, the attack? 
Uh, no, not not as yet. So. What would you like to say to them? Um, thank you. For, like uh, in terms of the people that helped me, thank yes. you so much. Thank you to, to each and every person. They um actually uh, um it is something I really wanted to say now. Like um the people of Queensland Health and the Queensland Police Service gave so much help to me that night. Um, the response, like how fast it was, and actually like how much help they gave like probably did save my life that night um the people from the bar and and outside who gave uh, um, immediate emergency first aid same thing probably saved my life so thank you <laughs> thanks very much how many hours do you think you spent in surgery no idea <laughs> um yeah have you been able to speak to the woman at all whose bag was almost stolen? Did doctors tell you how close you came to being um, pretty important artery in your neck? Um, it, it, was, it, uh, it was serious injuries. Have you returned to the place that it happened? In the area? I work in the area. <laughs> so what's it like for you returning <laughs> to that place? I beg your pardon? What's it like for you returning there? Um, fine. Yeah, like I don't. Yeah, fine. <laughs> really is. Like I, I'm not like Gary. I, I mean, I've I've been back at work for a week, so yeah. Is there any permanent um, or long-lasting injuries? I said, do you still have any pain or discomfort or anything no. like that? What does that say to the people that did it? Um, I I know they probably. Uh, I I hope they will turn yourselves into the police. Um. Really and honestly, um, I I can't believe you did it, but turn yourself into the police. Um, and yeah, once again, if anybody saw anything, um, please come forward because you know they don't deserve to get away with it, and they won't. So yeah.